I think that uh, from experience with the Y Sport uh, events, the engagement uh, across the community sector and indeed across the private sector pulled together assist the local authorities and indeed local government association in carrying forward the uh, message for, if you like, collaborative working. Collaborative working means that uh, we share the load but we also share uh, information from each other and therefore we actually enrich our offering to our local residents within, if you like, the grassroots uh, community that which we represent. One of the big uh, problems within the local authority uh, continuing to support local communities with sporting and recreational activity is a lack of funding. That lack of funding has come from 44% uh, or thereabouts cuts in our revenue budget from central government. We can't do this alone, so therefore it's collaborative working all the way along the line with business and indeed voluntary uh, community-led uh, groups. That's the way forward, that's the way that we can, if you like, sustain what we're doing and increase our offer to raise the aspirations and fulfil the dream. Most definitely uh, the, the various sectors, including voluntary sector and uh, community-led groups, need to be engaged, they know what they want, we need to assist in the provision of that. And I think that the way forward is, as I've said before so many times, collaborative working and indeed encompassing cradle to grave. Five years in primary school to start physical activity is too late. We need families to engage from the birth of the child or even prior to the birth of the child to take that message forward. Local government with devolution and localism can uh, revisit the offering in their own areas to better the facilities. Sometimes there's duplication, sometimes devolution gives the opportunity to revisit the duplication within their own areas. This is very, very important. It's um, paramount in the way that we can actually turn our ageing leisure centres into something fit for purpose for the 21st century and indeed what the expectancy is of local, local communities to come together and utilise state-of-the-art uh, facilities. I really feel that that's the way forward. I can't see that we can do it on our own. There's no way we'll do it on our own. But working together and uh, with, shall we say, uh, why sports events such as this, it does give focus. And I can't, uh, I can't uh, say loudly and strongly enough that that is the way forward. As I said, why sports events are um, paramount in pulling people together and giving them the opportunity to sit, listen, see the opportunities that are there from Sport England and indeed others. That it's not just about grant funding, it's about how we work, how we come together and what, the, what, what there is on offer. I really believe that that's the way forward, is to actually understand, understand the subject matter, you know what you need in your facility, it's actually bringing that through and getting the correct interpretation to the local authorities. Don't wait until the maroons go up. Act now, before you, before you need local authorities, make that initial move to engage with local authority and indeed the lead members in, within the local authority, the elected members, so that they're aware that you're there and they're, they're aware that there are needs and necessities which you can help them fulfil. Thank you.